Okay, and we're running, and we're running, we're running, we're running. Demonstration of the UI today. Here we have the slightly different UI, as you may notice. Well, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, important thing, figure out something interesting today. Uh, we'll start out with this example. Movie, you may notice this is here. This is here for a reason. Uh, these buttons aren't implemented yet. Oh, hey, look, it changes to the proper aspect ratio. That's pretty cool. Also, we have time code. Bam. Yeah, I said it. Time code. Um, there's also a zoom in aspect and stuff. Now, I'm experiencing with drop shadow, as you can see, it has weird effects on, it has better effects on square buttons and rounded buttons, but I think that's just, I need to make like a round something or other, I don't know, I'll figure that out. Moral of the story is, it looks better. As you can see, it works, you know, a lot better on some of the other elements. Um, so you can see here, anyways. which is back on the fly. These are actually all because they're basically TV aspect ratios are all a certain way, but if we go back to Fast and Furious, it switches to the right one. So it is something that is possible. Um, I just implemented this in the afternoon after I got done playing video games. So, you know, onward and upward, but I just want to show you designers it is possible. Um, basically, all I needed to do was and the property exists now, so you guys don't even have to do anything really that complicated. It's this bit right here. Basically, um, what you're allowed to do is a uh, conditional um, based on, well, whatever. It sucks because it's basically a yes or no. So you can't do anything too complicated, but you can get creative with it, and it does things like text, com text comparison and other things. It's a little abstract and kind of weird and not very well documented how exactly the comparison works, but it works after some experimenting. I know you can use booleans. It's basically, if it's this, do something, otherwise do that. Um, but basically what we have here is um, DC now playing aspect, which is um, part of the image provider. There's a function that tells you or that tells the UI what aspect ratio the incoming image is. So that way the UI can rearrange itself to optimally, optimally display that image. And so basically what I have here is, after a little bit of time spent, um, basically just figured out roughly what would decent aspect ratios look like automatically generated. And so what happens is um, it evaluates the width. It goes, okay, well, the aspect ratio is wide, so I'm going to use this column. Um, you know, these after the little colon for my, you know, blah, 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 for my calculations, whereas if it was, uh, you know, if it was poster, which is the alternative, then it would be that. Um, I have no idea how to add a third option, so that would probably have to go back to JavaScript, actually, at that point. Um, and then for the drop shadow, basically I did this thing called border image, which I don't understand too well, but essentially you took a, just a basic, basic boring image, um, just a simple drop shadow, just kind of like a gray gradient to, you know, to, what do you call it, to transparent. And um, I found these actually these details online, so it's not like I invented this myself. I'm so not taking credit for that. It's actually I don't know where the hell it is. Um, it's actually in another window here um, at this address. Developer dot. Well, you can read it. I'll pause. Anyways. Um, and so that's basically it. And they were just discussing how to get a shadow property for a rectangle. And this is what the cool guy came up with. As you can see, some pretty decent rectangle or drop shadow effects. So other people were talking about some other interesting things. I, I don't know. I'm, I just work here and that's only part time. Anyway, so I hope I've kind of explained this as well as just kind of showing it off to give you guys an idea of where to start. Basically, the conditionals are really, really powerful. And I would, I would encourage you to explore them because the variables come in and some and you know like I said this is another case of if you think there's something that needs to set a state or something like that you know let me know so we can get it in there um I think that is it uh, have a good evening <laughs>